here. Enforcement here today, our speakers, and I also wanted to uh, recognize some special guests who we have here today. From the Burbank Unified School District, we have Steve Frittner, clerk of the Board of Education. <laughs> Johanna Chase, Director of Wellness. <laughs> Dr. Tom Kissinger, Assistant Superintendent, Student Services. <laughs> Sharon Cuseo, Assistant Superintendent, Instructional Services. <laughs> Dr. Peter Kanapik, Director of Elementary Education. <laughs> and Kimberly Clark, Public Information Officer. And from the Burbank Transportation Management Organization, we'd like to thank Bronwyn Trice Kiner for being here. Today you're going to hear from several speakers, uh, and then following the speakers, we're going to have some visual demonstrations, which really will aim to, to make children more aware of their surroundings and remind drivers that students Bicyclists, pedestrians, and school buses will soon be on our streets and to please watch out for them. I'd first like to introduce from the Auto Club of Southern California, our Community Affairs and Traffic Safety Manager, Anita Lors Via Grant. Thank you, Doug. And good morning. My name is Anita Lors Via Grana. I manage Community Affairs and Traffic Safety for the Automobile Club of Southern California. As children of all ages head back to school in the coming weeks, including here in Burbank this coming Monday, the Auto Club reminds drivers to slow down, stay alert in neighborhoods and school zones. We also ask you to be especially vigilant for students before and after school hours. The afternoon hours are particularly dangerous for children. Over the last decade, nearly one-third of all child pedestrian fatalities occur between 3 p.m. and 7 p.m. In the year 2016 alone, nationwide, there were 373 pedestrians under age 18 years of age who were killed, and 85 bicyclists under age of 18 lost their lives in traffic crashes. Here in California, that equated to about 40 kids walking and six children on their bicycles. But what we know is that these tragedies and injuries can be prevented. And that's why we're here today. AAA's Schools Open Drive Carefully campaign was, not, was launched nationally in 1946 to help reduce the number of school-related pedestrian injuries and fatalities. After 72 years, the campaign continues to remind motorists to watch out for children as they travel to and from school. We'd like to remind all drivers to slow down, especially in school zones and neighborhoods surrounding schools. Reverse responsibly by checking for children on sidewalks and driveways before slowly backing up. We also want to remind drivers to come to a complete stop at all stop signs and always check for children on sidewalks and in crosswalks before proceeding. If you have teen drivers, talk to your teen drivers about driving safely when they're driving to and from high schools. Watch out for bicyclists. We know that children on bikes are oftentimes inexperienced that can be unsteady and unpredictable. We'd like to remind motorists to slow down and to allow at least three feet of passing distance between your vehicle and a bicycle. Check mirrors for oncoming cyclists prior to opening car doors and when parking next to or near a bike lane. And very importantly, we urge motorists to not drive intoxicated. As part of the Auto Club's new initiative to end distracted driving, we urge motorists, put your mobile phone out of sight so you're not tempted to use it. Pull over if you have to call or text somebody. And ask passengers to help you if you need help with navigation or ask a passenger if you need to send a text or a phone call. Don't do it yourself. Rely on your passengers to help you so you're not driving intoxicated. And avoid calling or texting people when you know they are driving. Children can often cross the road unexpected, unexpectedly or may emerge suddenly between parked cars, as oftentimes we see at schools. Put down your phone. Young lives depend on it and these injuries and fatalities are completely preventable.
For more information about the Auto Club's Distracted Driving Campaign, please visit us at AAA.com forward slash don't drive distracted. And if you are a school or law enforcement or other community traffic safety group and you'd like to order our free traffic safety materials aimed at motorists, pedestrians, and bicyclists, please visit us at AAA.com forward slash school safety. On behalf of everyone here at the Auto Club, we want to wish students and parents and faculty a safe upcoming school year. And now I'd like to bring up Burbank Unified School District's Director of Student Services, Stacy Cashman. Sergeant Derek Green, the Public Information Officer with the Burbank Police Department, and I am joined today by the Chief of Police for Burbank, Mr. Scott Machak. Also, two members of our Traffic Division, Motor Officers Casey Chapman and Ryan Rhodes. I think I speak on behalf of all Southern California law enforcement when I remind the community that safety and traffic safety near our schools is everyone's responsibility. By following a simple, some simple rules and tips, you can help law enforcement create a safer environment on the roadways near our campuses. We'd like to remind parents that when dropping off children, to always utilize a designated valet or safe drop-off zones whenever and wherever available. Always pull to the curb when dropping your children off at school, and make sure they exit on the right sidewalk side away from traffic. Only park your vehicle in appropriate and designated areas, obeying all parking restrictions and please always obey all traffic laws. In the first few weeks of school, we see quite a bit of traffic congestion. This is the most hectic time as people are acclimating to the new school year. We ask that you consider parking your vehicle some distance away from the school and walking your child rather than dealing with the congestion and traffic issues. Always cross the street at the corners and whenever possible, please use designated crosswalks with the assistance of crossing guards. Please do not ever park or leave your vehicle unattended in the delivery or valet areas. Do not block driveways and never park in red zones. You will be issued a citation. Please do not ever stop your vehicle in the middle of the street to let your child in or out of your vehicle. Never allow your child to walk in between cars as visibility will be limited for oncoming vehicles. Please do not allow your child to cross outside of designated crossing zones and never pass vehicles on the wrong side of the road. In regards to school bus safety, 
Section 22454A of the California Vehicle Code requires that motorists stop whenever a school bus is dropping off or picking up children. The school bus may display flashing lights and or a stop sign. Now this law applies to both traffic in your direction as well as school buses on the opposite side of the roadway unless that roadway is divided by a median or a multi-lane roadway. Failure to obey these traffic laws near our school can result in stiff penalties and fines, not to mention the liability associated with the unfortunate circumstance if the child is seriously injured by a negligent driving act. As the school year approaches, please let's work together to maintain safety on our roadways near our campuses. Thank you. Now I'd like to introduce Ms. Hannah Wu from the City of Burbank Transportation Division. She's going to come up and talk about the Safe Routes to School program. Hannah. which will help uh, visualize what we're hoping uh, parents, drivers, and students will do this coming school year. Starting right now, we're going to have Anita show us some simple tips with bike helmet. Uh, after that, we're going to have a school bus here, which is going to extend its stop sign, showing the amber lights and the red lights, uh, which drivers need to be mindful of and watching out for. Uh, after that, we'll have a parent doing a safe student drop-off right here at this location. And then we're going to have a crossing guard show us a demonstration down there uh, of students and offer safe tips for crossing the street. So thank you all for being here. We're going to continue these visuals right now. 